So here we go, RTX 2080 Ti, Ryzen 5 5600. Here we go. And we're just going to run some uh, 3D Mark. So I'm just going to put the CPU up to the speed that I want it out underwater, which is obviously 4.85. Hopefully I don't have any LOD on or anything. And we'll run 3D Mark Fire Strike first. Let's make sure all the tests are on, yeah. Off we go. So this is obviously the MSI Trio X uh, RTX 2080 Ti. I've done a video on this before if you want to go back and watch that. Um, yeah, it's pretty beast. So, let's see what kind of FPS we get. So here we go. Fire strike. Twenty-six thousand on the physics score, and this is with the fifty-six hundred X, and thirty-five thousand on the GPU score, with eleven thousand eight hundred on the combined. Um, let me just get afterburner up here. So afterburner has not detected the card properly for some reason. So. I might just need to restart the PC so that Afterburner can detect the card properly, so I'll just do that quickly now. So I've just restarted the PC so that MSI Afterburner can detect the graphics card. So I've just set it up with everything maxed out on the sliders, plus 100 on the core, 1150 on the memory, which is what this card can do. I've also put the fan speed to 100% to keep the boost as high as possible. And we're just going to run Fire Strike. CPU is at uh, 4.85 again, same as yesterday, and the memory is at um, 3800 C14. So there you go, with an overclocked 2080 Ti, we've got 26,000 on the CPU again, uh, 12,000 on the combined, and 37,900 on the graphics score, almost 30k overall. So we'll do uh, Fire Strike Extreme next. Seems to have uh, crashed there in Fire Strike Extreme. I don't know what's going on there. I'll just um, reset this again. Right, let's just try again. Might need to update 3D Mark to run this um, new CPU actually. There we go, 18,000 almost, uh, nearly 19,000 on the graphics score, 26k again on the CPU and nearly 10k on combined, and remember we're only using the baby uh, 5600X here. 
we'll do Fire Strike Ultra next. Fire Strike Ultra, this is 4K, so should be a decent workout for the uh, 2080 Ti. screen does seem to flicker quite a lot more when it's on a static image rather than running an actual benchmark but I think it's because the camera is uh, 30 fps and the monitor is 60 hertz so fortunately I can't do much about it because it won't let me change it on the camera right Fire Strike Ultra over 9000 9200 on the graphics, 26k again on the physics and 5000 on the combined, very nice. Right, next up, Time Spy, just normal Time Spy first. Yep. Now, the other day um, when I was doing some benchmarks in Time Spy with a GT710 just for the um, CPU or physics test it was scoring really badly for some reason I don't know whether that's because I needed to update 3D Mark or whether that's because I was running the GT710 and that was somehow bottlenecking it so we'll see in a minute anyway <laughs> I have tested this card previously with the 3900X which is why um, I know all the overclock settings to put in here we go 9,000 on the CPU score and 16,000 on the GPU score. I think that is about twice as much as I got yesterday if I remember correctly. So finally we're going to do times by extreme. It's already loading. Oh, it has crashed on the Times by Extreme CPU test there. So, 4.85 is clearly a little bit too much for a full AVX2 workload. So, I'll probably put it down to 4.8 and then try again. So there you go, 4.8 GHz on the CPU, we're still running the same memory settings and we're going to run Time Spy Extreme again. The GPU was okay all the way through so it was just the CPU that was a bit unstable there. Um, this physics test is much heavier than any other physics test because it uses AVX2 I'm pretty sure the normal Time Spy might use AVX1 or just normal AVX and then Fire Strike doesn't use any AVX or I could probably go up to 4.9 for normal Fire Strike might try that in a minute but we've just dropped it down 50 megahertz on the CPU and we'll see how it goes Now 
when the other slower benchmarks, the uh, extra single thread performance might make up for it. But in this one, oh, that's weird. It says it's crashed even though it finished. Anyway, main thing is 7000 on the GPU score. Let me just try running um, Fire Strike Extreme test by itself. I'll just run the CPU test by itself. There we go, four thousand four hundred and ninety nine. So, for the people who wanted me to test a low res game. Here is 3D Mark Skydiver. You can see it got 400, nearly 500 FPS, 600 in GT2, and a physics score of 23,691. So, combined was also 44,180 FPS. So, yeah, there you go. And that was with the CPU uh, back at 4.85 and the same clocks as before on the GPU as well which I'll just bring up in Afterburner quickly there you go